one can be here only one and i'm here on bantha school's instagram i've just been trying to do a video with streamlabs obs on my laptop to two, two different takes that have failed Bruh. and i was on uh, bantha school's website for that and then i was gonna take you to my ebay because there's other things i want to show you later as well so this is tc news because it is news this was stuff on friday that was news via bantha school's website and a few others but i was watching bantha school and uh the other thing that i suppose is news is just for your own interest that's why i've just now been rolling the uh, sale barge intro because a few things were happening on eBay last night which were interesting so I'll show you them as well but firstly check out this Lando man really good quality so pleased so actually no I tell you a lie I was actually really disappointed on Friday because I tuned in looking for these reveals and they were revealing stuff that was already revealed as far as I'm concerned don't get me wrong these are amazing figures. I can't wait for them to come out. I'm going to be opening them. They're going to be amazing. But I just mean that I wanted them to give us something else. You know, did you think the same? Is it just me? Am I in a minority there? Did you not want to hear something about an emperor? I, mean, I don't know, man. There's just so much I want them to do. But anyway, these are great, though. Look at that. I love it. Just like you see in the actual Mandalorian copper tones there. So the IG-11 figure is going to be as good if not better, is the IG-88, which is just a fantastic figure, faultless from the Vintage Saga collection. Really excited, so it's going to be great, that, and it will go nicely with my Mando figures and yours as well, if you've got a growing Mandalorian loose collection. Fantastic. Look at the detail there. Amazing. And I can't really comment on the 6-inch, but people have been saying that this is better than that. I haven't really paid much attention to the 6-inch one, so I can't really say either, either here or there weapon there as well amazing great character really good awesome that's exciting and then there's another one there as well so as i say check out bantha school's um there's another one check out his uh, instagram and his website is that all we've got for lando just those two images yeah he had some others on his website but this lando is incredible like i was just saying in my previous take the face is really good. In fact, yeah, there was a live stream last night on Tim's channel, Bosch Bounty, and the fellas were talking about him in great detail. Soft goods, I think, is a great idea. I'm glad they've done that, and it looks to me like it's draping well. Fabric, depends on the fabric. That looks like it's got a bit of weight in that, like felt, hasn't it? Look at it, that looks good. I'm glad they've done soft goods. I'm so sorry they didn't do soft, hard goods. I'm sorry they didn't, I'm sorry they didn't do soft for Gideon, but um, Muff Gideon. But the face is more important because of the fact that he's got like a neutral face. He's not grimacing or smiling or showing his teeth. That is what you want. It's not 100% Billy D. Williams at all by any stretch, but it's a massive improvement for what we've previously had. And even the six inch figures, it's better than that. The only problem we've got with it is the crunch. Look at the ab crunch there, see right on the belly. Does he need that? Not really. But um, as long as it doesn't go yellow like the uh, vintage original trilogy collection one, that's fine. In fact, it doesn't go yellow, it goes green, that figure, because of the fact that blue and yellow mix those together. You get green, and obviously plastic goes yellow, and it looks like pee in a swimming pool. So anyway, that's the deal with that. Awesome, so that's that. So thank you, Chris, for those from Bantha School. It's awesome. And now, finally, I'm just going to take you to my watch list on eBay last night. There was a lot of activity. I didn't know that this auction was happening. Another Star Action Figures auction, which you might remember I covered that about three weeks ago now some crazy prices then and i find it fascinating so i like doing these videos to show you what's going on in the world is it tvc news well it certainly is for the uk and in america let me know if you're getting similar things as this but there were again some interesting prices the most notable was shay vizsla and what i noticed yesterday was shay vizsla went three weeks ago for a fraction of the price that she went last night so she went for 120 the other week Last night she went for 225, so that's a massive difference. Anyway, so these are the prices that they went for. This is the whole auction. Where does it begin? It begins here with Leia Bespin. 90 pounds Leia Bespin, 67 for Pruneface, 30 for Gwynlan Voss. Never really went for a lot of money. I know who won that 
that troop transport there. But these are all no no postage charge as well. So £54 is a not a bad price. I'm quite jealous I didn't get that myself. Django has always gone for a lot of money, £230. 102 for Starkiller. £122 for VC15 now. This was interesting. The last line figures didn't go for much last night. £21 for that layer in comparison to what you saw the other one go for anyway. 55 for Kithaba. That's the unpunched one with the brown bandana. I do need the one with the red one, but not really. Doesn't matter if I don't get it. 87 for Mace Windu. He's always been expensive. £102 now for the Arc Trooper Commander. Wow. I remember winning him for £9 on eBay in 2015 on a Sunday as well. £42 for the Naboo Pilot. I was surprised at that, but actually maybe not because it's the Naboo, the, the Naboo Royal Guard is who I'm thinking of. He's the one who's like the peg warmer and doesn't go for much. Maybe this guy is a little bit rarer. He's in the same kind of league as Jar Jar in a way. I did have a go with this one. This is the £155. This is not like the one that went for over 200 the other week. That was the revenge card. But this one I thought I already had. This is the the return card one. So the regular return. And I looked on my wall last night and I realised I don't have this. I've got the Canadian card which doesn't have the paper in the tray that you see there. And it's also got a sticker this as well. So I did have a go of it but I'm nowhere near the final asking price. I'm surprised it didn't go for more actually given what the revenge one went for the other day. And then we have uh, 165 for the Leia Slave. Now, my mate won this. I'm, I shan't say his name, but I know somebody who, who's been desperate to get hold of it. And in the end, he's gone for it. So all the best to you, mate. You know, he, he needed it, but that's quite a lot of money for her. But then again, they'll never make her again. So I can see her going up and up and up from here on in. 28 for Obi-Wan Kenobi. 41 for this is the one of, I think, the rarest of the two, this one, for VC-36. The Senate Guard, the one where you can see his face. Two variants of that card. Zam Wessel there for 73. Still a little minute. And here she is now, Shea Vizsla. £225. Quid. Bucks. Knicker. Groats. Whatever you want to call it. Let's have a look at her she is but the, the crazy thing is like i said i know that three weeks ago less than a month she went for half the price so you 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 do the math huh? madness bloody madness 27 pounds for this is it's interesting there's more loss line now 27 under 30 pounds for these guys look at the look at that jar jar price now there's a jar jar coming up that went for a lot more than that the regular card which i actually had a i had a bit of a punt on it last night i had a go of it because I noticed the other day that my Jar Jar, you'll see him in a minute, 127 for the Rebel Troop, tro Old Republic Trooper. My Jar Jar's got a crease on the bubble. 93 for the Silver Chase VC09. 72 for Anakin Silver. Here he is, the Naboo, Royal, the Naboo Royal Guard. Still very affordable in 2021. 23 pounds. Again, free postage on that, so that's worthy of opening at that price. 128.97 for General Grievous, VC17. That's the unpunched one as well. So that's uh, surprised that didn't go for more. There's Obi-Wan there. This is interesting that that's holding its value. This is not the new one, obviously. This is the unpunched one. Yeah, there you go, you see? Conditioner, that looks all right, I suppose. Yeah, so he's holding a value. Annie, little Annie, nineteen pounds fifty for little Annie there. Oh. Forty-seven pounds for the Mon Calamari pilot. Always a more expensive figure. That I don't think that one will have the Blu-ray sticker on there. They're quite rare to find. No, it doesn't. Now Bomb Vimden again. See twenty-two pounds. A brilliant figure that. So if you haven't got a Bomb Vimden in your collection, you can buy him carded and open him. He's a really good figure. I think I bought mine from Tungori years ago. Twenty-five for Wedge Antilles. Sixty pounds for Luma, who's always been an expensive Ewok. Twenty-six for Ma Hanek. Thirty-one pounds for the for the Gungan Warrior. I would love to have him loose. It's just gone a little bit over what I would pay for to something for something to open. Fifty pounds for Sidious. If you haven't seen my video already, my figure hack for doing a Sidious, then do check it out because you see how much he goes for. It's expensive, and I've figured out a way that I can obviously have two of them because I wanted him without the hood as well. You see, because it's a great facial sculpt underneath that hood. So check that video out if you haven't seen it already. Got notifications coming in. Seventy-eight pounds for the Emperor's Royal Guard. See. He's holding his price. He's gonna come, be, gonna be coming back him as well. Forty pounds for the Rebel Fleet Trooper, the original one with the sticker on there. It's 
probably lower than I expected. <clears throat> and here he is, Jar Jar Binks. I did have a go with this, but <laughs> the price I put on it was way lower than that. 77 is a lot of money for him. He's gone right up. Battle Droid, Super Battle Droid, 54, 90, 89, and then Barris at 39. And then that is it for the star action figure stuff I was watching. I think that might be everything. This is just a few of the things I was watching just for my own interest. And actually, that's interesting. That 390 pounds for an Ahsoka Tano there. Punched. Does she come with the star case? You better bloody had to. That's a lot of money for her, isn't it? I've forgotten I was watching that. And if you're like me, you are watching lots of Cara Dune right now. I'm constantly clicking a, a watch on Cara to see what she goes for. And that's still in my watch list because I just don't want to forget about that. That ended ages ago. I just want to keep an eye on it because I wouldn't mind buying one of them at some point in the future. So I used sometimes keep stuff in my watch list because of the fact that uh, it's a little reminder to, you know, sniff it out in future. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks, Bantha School, for posting all that stuff on Friday. Sorry I'm a bit late, everybody, for the news on that. It's just, as I say, I was a bit disappointed and there's only two things to talk about, so I'm glad at least I can combine that news with this eBay stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Only One Kenobi. If you are new around here, subscribe, tap the notification bell, hit a like as well if you have enjoyed the video. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out. <laughs>